There's another one. Okay. <laughs> I should catch that up track. Uh, um, hello everyone, welcome back to this let's play of <laughs> Spider-Man uh, 2. <laughs> Apparently the game started me up right in these wind tunnels. <laughs> I didn't even start on the roof or anything. <laughs> I am. MJ got a tip yesterday that Scorpion's being moved to Ravencroft. Not enough resources for him since Sandman became his roommate. Scorpion can definitely throw a tantrum. I'll be there. Hey. Okay. It's another one of Marco's memory crystals. Should yeah, I should probably go after them, Sun Pound. <laughs> uh, but right now we're just going for what we're actually supposed to do. God, I'm moving so fast. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, that was um, a beginning. <laughs> Looks like I'm just in time. Straight into it, holy crap. Keep it moving, Gargan. <laughs> Why haven't they taken that suit from him? Next next or maybe they can't. Thought we were just babysitting Scorpion today. Fireworks? A little early for fireworks. We gotta go. Maybe. Yeah, red, yellow, green, green, like go. Protect the ship. Form up on me. Can all just turn invisible? Jet ski. Mobius would not agree with that. I really should have stretched. Your head will make a fine trophy. Uh, no, it won't. Whoa, those blades are sharp. You must be new in town. Hi, I'm Spider Man. In case you didn't know, <laughs> these guys are bad news. Definitely want to keep him in prison. Get out of our way. Yep. It does not concern you. All right. Guess we can skip the welcome wagon. Okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> I have no clue. I'll cover you. Keep them out of the ship. On it. Take out the 
trenches. Overwhelm the guards and break down the doors. They're trying to get inside the ship. They want Scorpion and Lee. We gotta stop them. What do you even want with these guys? Seems like your club has plenty of. I'm sure you want to know. You will see, and it will be glorious. Not liking the sound of that. Me neither. Come on, go down. Oh, those are starting to remind guys. <laughs> are that birds too? Or oh, mini vultures? What are you, vultures? Always fun. <laughs> the exact same thing I've heard. Ow. They have all the newest tech. Nope. You seen these guys? A lot of money and tech here. Hello, Smiles. Yeah, but I don't want to fight Hydra right now. I got the little one. Little one? You better be talking about the other Spider-Man. Because I'm a half inch taller than him. At least. Oh, hello. Why didn't we know the raft was moving Lee? Doesn't matter now. Let's just focus on taking these guys out. Whoever they are. Yep. Bye bye, bird. That was the way to lose. <laughs> Just fell in the water. What now? Ah, uh, grappling hooks, mass size things. I'm not sure what that is. <laughs> oh, it is grappling hooks. Good thing they're only as sticky as they want to be. People? Can you see the big sheep coming towards you? Get away! <laughs> Why are you humans so stupid? Well, that was a sword and not a grappling hook, to be fair. I am. Well, hello there. It's getting worse out there. Someone out there! Scorpion! He got out! And he threw me in here! Uh, 
Okay, how do we get in? I'll get you out. Pretty sure that cannot do it. I think it's that one. Sweet. Water's rising. I can't get back the way I came in. The electrical current is powerful in here. Even I can feel it. I can't let it get to that guard. This amount of electricity will fry him alive. Yep. Good thing I have that powers I have, <laughs> so I don't get fried. That can't be good. I remember the random death to Peter. <laughs> Saved you. Really? <laughs> can't be. No. On Scorpion. Yeah, and uh, not eyes on me. But uh, I have problems with enough, I think. Dream. <laughs> I still have to get out, though. We had two to talk about that, and by two I mean only me. <laughs>
them now. Miles, do you think you can handle Lee? I can turn around right now. No, I got this. Go on. Ah, wrong button. You can't let him near my family again. Not after what he did to my dad. I have to protect them. They need me, man. Nothing will happen to your family. Nothing. You got this. I'll be back soon. Got this. Did you shoot your own camera? Can I get out that way? Okay, thanks. <laughs> it did it on its own, so yeah. <laughs> Definitely, I can. Lee, actually. <laughs> oh, now you act a surprise. Get out. I don't know who you are, but you mess with the wrong city. You cannot escape. And you think I'm naive? Don't let them hit you. No. There we go. <laughs> well, hello there, big fella. The Hudson is on fire. Things just went from bad <laughs> to East River on fire bad. Oh, East River. <laughs> well, okay. I'm on my way. Fair enough. We'll deal with Scorpion later. Come on. Come on. It won't start. I got you. Hang on to something. Oh, charts. That's fine. <laughs> that is actually a strong bird. <laughs> Right about that, ow. How many times I gotta tell you people? Lee stays with me. <laughs> Apparently the target is your comrade. Bridge. Good 
Good thing there's more than one Spider-Man. Holy <laughs> Spider Man, let him go. Also, poor bridge. <laughs> Anyways, press the strength for those that is hanging out on the S though. <laughs> I'm not sure I would have been staying there <laughs> if this was me. First responders are on site now, at least. Fishing, but there's no sign of him. Any luck up river? Nothing but debris. Who are those guys? Whoever they are, they're packing some serious tech. And now they got all that, plus Scorpion and Lee. Hey, whatever they're planning, we'll find them. We'll stop them. Yeah. I saw Lee inside that ship. My powers. They... You think his energy got entangled with yours? I don't know, man. But it feels... volatile. Well, wherever Electric Blue came from, it saved the day back there. Hey. We'll put Lee back where he belongs. Okay, Dan. No Subtitles fucked up there. <laughs> what the hell? Don't leave me hanging. I'm trying to soak over here. Not on my watch. Come on. <laughs> You're too much, man. Yeah, I hope they fixed himself. <laughs> okay, what does say? This is the ability menu. From here, you can swap your uh, equipment abilities. Miles is on a chain lightning and venom punch, but only one of them can be active at the time. Hey, Miles. Get used to hearing that. Hello. Dropped you a pin. Wanna come through? Hey, I'm Blaren. What? Too busy to visit your fam? Nah, I was just giving you space after you got out. Don't need it. Besides, we gotta settle some things. We do? See you soon, kid. Just go see him and get it over with, Mouse. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something yep. tells me the plan is something big. And that's bold to steal from an armored truck. Hi, I'm Spider Man. And I'll be ruining your day. Like always. Stay down. <laughs> you guys ever think about how we use food to describe money sometimes? <laughs> Dough, cheddar, bread, bacon. It's interesting. Hey friends, it's Danica. You are listening to the Danacast. Get this. Now the fastest growing podcast in New York. Hold on to your knickers, Jonah. I'm coming for the crown. 
For you new listeners, <laughs> welcome. The Danicast is your spot for real takes on real news about real people. Did y'all hear about this train worker, Dennis, who single-handedly kept the trains running during the Sandman attack? The main track control booth got cut off by a power failure, and he had to patch in from his cell phone on a hotspot to keep the lines up. Thousands of people got evacuated to Queens and Brooklyn thanks to him. Dennis, we at Denicast salute you. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay. I want this one, though. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> Let's crush this crystal. Maybe I'm being paranoid, but everywhere I go, I see them too. Work, the corner store, in the park. They're tracking us. Marco is really freaked out. Wonder if whoever was following him is still out there. <clears throat> good question. That's good. Sometimes I worry with all the terrible things that happen in our city. People will be afraid to leave their home, live their lives. But not today. <laughs> Let's get this one though. <laughs> Criminal has that tech parts served uh, throughout the city. Find them and take them. Stolen underground tech. They try to rebuild themselves without Finn, but I'll put it to better use. Make sure Pete knows about this. Cars swerving all over the place. Wait a minute! Right, right. Is there a street race I don't know about? <laughs> Oh, I kind of does. One ton of runaway meadow brought to a halt. Love to see it. We really got to do this with the mask on. Yeah. Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Kid? you're thinking miles this is not on you we can't let him live up here it's just another kind of prison it's not that easy never said it was but sometimes you got to push the past away so you can make room for the future that's actually why I call need your help getting something could get it myself but Parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. Getting some? <laughs> How did you? And Miles, that Lee business? Don't be stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A 
I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. I will. What else is going on with you? Our school, college, anyone you like. I don't know. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code from my suit. Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Don't cheat. Take your time. That is interesting. Not bad, kid. It used the feedback in the PlayStation uh, 5 controller. Uh, to do what it has to do. <laughs> Another gate. But yeah, uh, they have feedback in the controller, so... Sweet. Can't pull it open from down here. You would have made a decent prowler. You should be seeing Thanks. how to get inside now. How long had that radio been on? Must be this one. Finally tell me what this is? Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech. Okay. Cool. Could definitely use this. <sighs> Upgrade things. Finally. Listen. Clue. This isn't the only stash. Oh. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. I want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay, I got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. I wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. She's not gonna be happy. Me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer, Icon. Está bien. Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Estaba ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. Y... ¿Cómo está él? Está trotando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out into the city. See what's going on. Maybe we'll okay. find Lee while I'm at it. I don't think so, but um, that means downtime a little. Miles, club fair. Hello. Remember? You on your way? Oh right, that's today. Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard he's talking scholarships. I have so many questions for him. Be there soon. Hey, where is my mission? The city seems pretty quiet. Still no sign of Lee. Or the gang that took him. Wonder if Pete's having better luck than me. Another day, another disaster befalls our beautiful city. And guess who's to blame? In what should have been a routine prison transfer, the Spider-Men felt the need to inject themselves into a situation that was already being handled by the proper authorities and completely botched it. A new group of mercenaries made their presence known in the hijacking of the supervillain Scorpion and Mr. Negative. Not much is known about this new collective, other than their pension for animal skins, but one thing is abundantly clear. The Spider-Man did nothing to impede them. Had law enforcement been allowed to do their jobs, these criminals wouldn't be in the wind. <laughs> okay, <laughs> not what I wanted. Color, you're live. Hi, Jonah. Thanks for having me. Just want to point out that what you're saying is a total lie. Here we go. 
I was there on the pier. Law enforcement was completely outmatched. The Spider-Men saved countless lives and almost stopped those bow and arrow geeks, too. First, you're lucky to be alive. Second, let me ask you, just this week alone, can you guess how much property damage those vigilantes are responsible for? No, but that's not the issue here. I don't have time to get into a circuitous whataboutism argument when there are costumed criminals reducing our city to rubble on a daily basis. Think of all the shipping delays we're gonna face because of this. When you can't shave because your favorite cream is trapped in shipping hell, make sure you thank the Spider-Man. Time for the bureaucrats to do their job. We need action. And also, a word from our sponsor. Hey, Pete, you ready to come by the Foundation? Sure. I'm excited to see what you're up to. Great. I'm excited to show you. Oh, gotta grab this call from NJ. See you soon. Hey, how you doing? Good. Just got off the phone with Harry, and this Foundation thing could be interesting. Oh, nice. Some hope on my work front, too. <laughs> I dug into the tech that gang used to mess with the prison transfer. It's DARPA-level stuff. Yeah. Whoever's behind them has a ton of resources. Miles thinks he saw their leader. Some kind of big game hunter, fur vest looking guy. Interesting. I'll keep digging. If I can get this story on the front page, it might help us track him down faster. Maybe save my job, too. And the Sandcastle competition starts now! And no genie! <laughs> There we go. Easy peasy. Let's crack a crystal. So I told the cops that someone's out to get us, but they don't listen to me. No one ever does. Time to take matters into my own hands. Marco was really laying low these past few years. It would have helped him if I'd known he was in trouble. Hey, I was just talking to my source at the raft. Marco's been belligerent and incoherent since he got there. But he said he's starting to show signs of improvement. Whatever you're doing with those crystals, keep it up. Okay. Chief Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack. But there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. One sec! Ready to uh, you guys like stealing stuff? What a coincidence! I like hey. stopping robbers! I can hear more people coming in. No? Don't worry. I'll get you to an ambulance in no time. Oh my god. Thank you. You're welcome. We're almost there. Here you go. And now you're in much better hands. Ugh. Bless you, Spider-Man. Okay. Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your web to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. Is this the host? No, that's this foundation. So that must be a side quest I can do. Wow. I was wondering what this place was. Now you know. That 
It's Emily's tree. Oh, this is perfect. You made it. I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker. <laughs> so, what do you think? The far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. <laughs> and now that you're on board, this place is really gonna start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was gonna give him a tour. Let him... Aside for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. Up so we the go. first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you? you got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission to heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is? Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Yes, Gene. I just checked in on Dan and Let's see what we have then. Data is not cross-tabulate with the AI learning we did during the last milestone. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think Thanks. you'll like this project. Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. A carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Want to see how? That was an old PlayStation Whoa, controller. This is cool. These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that were training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA bee killer wolves. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic <laughs> bee wolves? The better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves to not hurt them. Oh, nice! Yes! You're done, Peter. A very productive session. We got great data. Okay, flying home. Welcome to entomology. <laughs> if those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much Are you more just hanging out? Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting edge proton beam work using protons instead of x rays with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about, all the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry, a moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh, 
Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. He didn't ruin him at all. <laughs> Doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call. But uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. It don't seem familiar. See, that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. I wonder how it ended up here. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. I wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. The origins of life on Earth remain a mystery. How could organic life forms have arisen from non-biological chemical compounds? Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. Beehives show complex group decision-making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will help beekeepers support healthy swarming without invasive observational techniques for optimal health and reproduction in our beleaguered bee population. Drones? Yeah, uh, doing a little cross-collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultralight drones using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. Almost on my way. Hello. You really have a particle accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but we'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Yeah, shouldn't it not be bigger than this normally? Up? Up to the top or is it floor? just me? Your energy seems and, really good, Harry. I feel and by big, I mean more. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even uh, before high school. Uh, bigger than that. Middle school. Okay. In the uh, radius. Now, do you know the. Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey, what the fuck is you that? Were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? No, I didn't. Oh, you have to. It's seriously one of my favorite spots in the whole building. So calming, and we're doing cool research inspired by the cellular structure of the koi fish's scales. I'll be sure to go check that out. Oh, that was probably the lady down uh, by the water then. I'm wondering if this conversation changes though, if you talk to her first. Then. The algorithm is similar to long division, uh, if you look at it that way. Got it. Pretty sure I have to go to them because they're talking. This way, dude. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. 
For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Like that? Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open that source, that developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Interesting. I do it like this. Yeah. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you <laughs> got that laughter. All, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Uh, there, and uh, this one. Beautiful work, Peter. I'm a genius. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it <laughs> our office? Harry, now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell Back me pocket. you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Go ahead. I really Swipe. Need more security. Wow. They have a coffee machine and pizza. I'm sold. <laughs> Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. That looks like it's a real responsibility photo. to save it. <laughs> I should look like an actor, but I can't remember her name. If you join me, God, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But 
Coney Island later, yeah? <laughs> you bet. Back to being Spider-Man. Oh, hey, I forgot to tell you. Some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the locations, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Swing by? Are you hey, saying you're Spider-Man? I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... It's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on! Don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me. <laughs> your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I find. All right. Good luck out there. Dr. Foster doesn't mind if Spider-Man helps Peter out. So that was uh, one of the new things I can do. Let's see what it's about. Excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Peace to Feed the Community, starting by improving our gardens. To help, please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Fair enough. Easy enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. I think I can you know. improve on this. Let's look for the best samples. Has to be a healthy looking plant around here somewhere. This one's really productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. These are clearly more efficient with water. I can use that. This one's technically a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. Okay, got some great samples. Time to bring them together. I believe that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. Nope, no, it shouldn't. Okay, as so you need two helium or oh, H, so one, two of these. Let's see. So this. I wait to see this grow. Why does that look like a sorted okay. plant? <laughs> it's a great new hybrid seeds for them. Just got to get this place ready to plant the seeds. Let's optimize their water. Probably need to pull on that valve. Yeah, that was also what I tried to do. Yeah, I just got to patch this up. Oh, I have to aim it. Multiple leaks lowering the water pressure. If I don't find them all, the system won't work. Just a few more to patch up. Would be counterproductive if I drowned all the plants. May used to have a green thumb with her tomato plants. Maybe I have green webs? And I think this should do it. Dr. Foster will be pleased. He doesn't need to know Spider-Man helped out. <laughs> I wonder what other field projects the EMF is working on. Should probably check out it's that crystal map. To follow them. Figure out who they are. I end up at this abandoned school in Harlem. And I'm already beginning to regret this. Marco must have felt so alone during all this. His back against the wall. I can relate. Hey, what's up? Hey, mate. Just wanted mate. to let you know that I talked wow, to Wow, MJ. And Feast is gonna send a donation truck to the house tomorrow for the rest of May stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to go through everything by then. Could you cancel that? I promise I'll donate it all myself as soon as I'm finished with uh, everything. My spider thing. I'll call him right now. But don't push yourself too hard, Parker. I'm serious. Get ready, Spider-Man. Here we come. <laughs> Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong. 
Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Ah, oh, man. We were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Littering? Come on, man. Bye bye. What do we have here? Let's take a closer look. Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, Birdie. Take me to your nest. I'm gonna miss the wow, chances when I'm an Emily May. The adrenaline going through the city like it's an obstacle course. Never gets old. Getting to do real science, though, for actual money. Oh my God! I finally did it. I have a stable career. Okay, cool it, Parker. Daydream about those fat science stacks later. Time to chase. Everybody doesn't like me following it. Insurance. Up, up, and you won't get away. Well, another one of these. No, 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 no. Nice cloaking tech. Thanks. Mind if I take a look under the hood? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. That's too close now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. Above us! I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. You are not worthy of his attention. But Scorpion is? Okay. Down him! Look out! You know, I've got nothing against Gargan. I'm just saying I've kicked his butt a few times. And yet, yep. you always held back. By not killing him? Yeah, killing really isn't my thing. Are you okay? Now, where's your boss? I think we have Another to use robot. this one. Maybe I can test something out. Okay. Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh. Is that your home? <laughs> you caught a spider. Come on! Not buy a ticket for this ride! Poor people down the street getting good droppings, literally. Gonna send this location to MJ. Maybe she can dig up some building records. Where are we going now? Hey, MJ. Here we go. Did you get that location data I sent you? 
Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait, this buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city, like whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? <laughs> Bad news. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Gotta draw one of them away. Hello. That's one. That was fast. You find something? Two things. Not yet. This armed group calls themselves hunters. And they've got a lot of accents. Hmm. International mercenaries? That's what I'm thinking. These could be front page material for your article. I'm writing it up now. Thanks. Oh, and speaking of work, I accepted Harry's offer. That's fantastic. We should celebrate later after you're done with your current work. Totally. Talk soon. That's a lot of gear. It's like they're prepping for war. Seems like they have really upped their takedown methods. <laughs> he was an IRS. <laughs> Nice. Oh. But he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? And why? Yeah, that is a good question. Yes, it's loaded. What do I need to do? Just make sure the beasts have the right scent. One can hunt. You hungry too? <coughs> uh, you will never be heard from again. Was one of the things that I've heard about. Ammunition, brushes. Hmm. Still missed. Hello. It's really useful to have this. These guys are better equipped than most armies. This Craven guy must be rich or well connected. Both. He's too far away. Bye bye. <laughs> Hello. 
Stay down. Thank you for speaking up. All right. Where to next? Looks like this is the only way. <laughs> Search lab. Let's see what they have. I'm not gonna read all that. Craven studying Lee's blood. Maybe he's trying to figure out where his powers came from, or how to get them for himself. Aunt May was so proud of her work at Feast. Lee broke bad in a big way. I just hope that doesn't mean everything he ever touched was corrupted. An inner demon mask. Lee's old superpowered gang. Craven better not be trying for the same with his hunters. Hallucinogens. Probably the worst part of Scorpion's poison. If Craven's adding this to his arsenal. Ugh, that's. The Tiara Apitahi. One of the rarest flowers in the world. Its extract has some pretty powerful medicinal properties. I tried to get some years ago to counteract Scorpion's poison, but couldn't afford the flights to Riotea? Guess Craven could. <laughs> Dr. Farley Stillwell? His genetic experiments gave Scorpion his abilities. Craven sure does his research. Are they testing their weapons on that armor? Whoa. And not a single scratch? Almost an exact that is Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. Some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. I was worried Lee I will. didn't have any spirit left in him after being locked away for so long. Nope. No, I'm not. That's a funny story, I'm not in the air anymore. Okay, we need to get rid of that guy. <laughs> Fine. I could really use some answers instead of questions right now. That looks promising. All right, Craven. What are you looking for? Wait. I get bringing Scorpion and Lee on a hunt. 
My cat's a thief. He's going for everyone. Never gonna win best in show with that attitude. Ow. Nice doggy kitty robot. Thingy. I didn't know I was playing Horizon. <laughs> I don't think he's animal control, but fair enough. I don't know people with guns, you know. Actually, now that you're here, question: What's Craven hunting? Maybe I can help. You won't live long enough to help anyone. Wanna bet? Culture. Don't eat that. That's nasty. Okay, he didn't do it. <laughs> if it had been Connor on the other hand, though. That I did not expect them to do. What the hell? He's not teaming up with supervillains for some hunt. There is prey. Felicia.
Fair enough. Where are you? Estás listo? For what? In serio. My date's almost here and you're surfing the web? Ma, no one says surfing the web anymore. Well, she does this. Okay, okay. See, so you got your good lipstick on. You must really like this guy, huh? Miles? I'm sorry. Look, next time, I promise. I, Miles. I love you. So where to this time? Hey, so I found a base belonging to those safari pirates or hunters as they call themselves. And yeah. Their boss's name, Craven. And he killed Scorpion, and he's got a whole hit list of supervillains. Wait, what? Does this mean Lee? Don't know, but this list is extensive. These must be the people Marco warned us about. They were hunting Sandman. No way. Alicia's on their list too. Black Cat, your ex? Exactly. She won't listen to me if I say she's in danger. But maybe she'd listen to someone she doesn't know. If MJ reached out to you with some addresses, would you be up for taking point on this? I got you. Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but call me if anything comes up and... We're going to find Lee. I promise. Guess I've got some time until MJ calls. What's going on in the neighborhood? Well, if there are time to do stuff, then I think I will end this episode off here for today. We have been going for a good around two hours now. Give or take how much I have to cut off. <laughs> uh, anything. But, um, I will continue this let's play so you can see forward to more Spider-Man coming down the road. Um, but, um, other than that, until next time, I hope you will have a great day, and I will see you all, so take care everyone, and goodbye.